Hello and welcome everybody, it's Marcus Budge here. A few weeks ago we've made a tutorial about how to install Sun Example Label shaders for the old version and now that Minecraft has actually updated I thought why not just make another one so you actually know how to do it on 142. Now first step what you want to do is download all of the files that I provided in the description of the of this video which is basically Optifine, then the Dax Nitro mod with our GLSL shaders and the shader files of Sonic Ether, which is the CUSR zip here. So uh, first you want to go to the Optifine web page, you can uh, just google it and it will come up on top. Now go a bit down to the Optifine HDA7 for Minecraft 142 and download, well just hit one of these links here, this one is the one with the AdFly and this one is the free one, so we're just going to click the free one. Now it's going to prepare your download link, so just wait a few seconds, don't panic, don't shut down your computer or beat some random cat up. What am I talking about? Anyway, click that link here and it will download the Optifine version for the latest Minecraft. Now since I've already done that, we can actually skip that and just go to your .minecraft folder, which normally is under C, uses your username updater roaming .minecraft. Uh, double click the bin folder and you'll find the minecraft.jar inside. Double click that as well. If you do not, uh, well, if nothing happens, if you double click that, then you should probably uh, select Open With and then WinDraw or WinSip, whatever you got. Um, I'm not even sure if you can open it with uh, WinSip, but 7SIP can do it as well. So uh, as soon as you double click that, this will open and you can select the Meta in folder which contains a lot of bad things. No, actually, it's just the version number, but you need to delete that for the mods to work. Uh, next you can do is go to the downloaded files with the Optifine version in it, double click that as well. So we got both of these archives open at the same time. Now you can uh, click Ctrl A to select all of the files or just uh, select them all with Shift, works as well. And drag drop these into your Minecraft.jar. Uh, you need to spend attention that you don't uh, drag them into the in the folders up here because uh, then it will be in the wrong place. You need to drag them in the lower part of this archive here on the same level as the other ones. Uh, for compression method you can choose just store since we don't want any compression algorithms to be applied to these files. Hit OK and that's basically it. Now we can close both of these archives and right click uh, no, double click the shaders 216 which contain the Dax Nitro or mod. So as soon as you extract the, that you can either double click the XA or right click open with Java the Nitro's installer works both. Now this is the installer for GLSL modes and this is where a lot of errors happen. Now first thing you want to do is open the the lock file, just click on view lock and it will open up the lock file. Uh, next what you want to do is install the mod by just clicking that button here and you'll see on the right side that he does stuff, he unpacked the jar file, he detected Optifine, now he's repacking the jar and says well installation is complete, no errors, that's how it should be. Close both of these things and open up the shaders of Sun Example Evil shaders which are in the cus.zip file as well as the Minecraft jar, so we need to go back to bin Minecraft. In here you will now find a folder called shaders, which is this one, and we can open up the shaders on the left side as well. Now you see basically these are the same files, but they're not with our, they don't have the same content, so you're just going to drag and drop the files from the series 142 zip into the Minecraft jar over here. Bam, there we go, selection method, store again, Close all that and now we can start up Minecraft and take a look at if it works or not. Shall actually work. I mean this is completely new Minecraft. I don't even have a world yet. So create world, new world, there we go, just create it. I want to see if it works. And there we go. As you can see we got working shaders, we got working sun rays which are look awesome through the leaves. We got uh, our own shadow as I hope. There it is, yeah, we got our own shadow. And uh, now we got the problem that we don't really see any water in the surroundings. So, uh, oh actually, just here there's new sounds for walking over snow. That's awesome. Hello there, dopey sheep. 
Oh, uh, I, I wanted to show you the water, so that's a bit of a bummer. Um, <laughs> yeah, you mow me as well. Hello, water, where are you? Yoo-hoo! Oh, there we go, look at that. There's some water. So, uh, we got the water reflections as well, as you can see over there. This looks amazing, by the way. We got the sun rays, which look amazing. I've already said that, but whatever. And uh, we got music. Sweet. And Nyko just came online. So, uh, anyway, in total, that was the installation tutorial for Unbelievable Shaders. And I hope you have fun with the mod. I wish you a nice day, and goodbye.